What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Create Lab. I'm here with. I Justine! And Kevin Coons. So, I Justine is like huge inspiration. That's why I actually be in YouTube, like, because I watch your videos you. since I was when I was a baby. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not saying that you're like. No, no, I'm the grandmother of YouTube and I'm totally okay with that. So, it's all right. I mean, you know, everybody's in inspiration. So, I just want to give you a big shout out. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, what did you find so interesting today in VLA? What what struck you? Well, it was really cool. I just went was over at the Intel booth and I saw the spheres, like the the demo, and it was really really awesome. And I think one of my biggest complaints, I think, with VR is you know just content, and, and it's hard because it is still technically still early. So just seeing really great new fun content and people using it in different ways, like the way that you're doing here with these two GH5s. I'm like, what is this rig? It's so cool. <laughs> so, what will you do if we gotta give you a 180 on this camera? Like what what I just didn't create. Oh man, I'm not sure. Usually, see the thing is, I don't usually plan my content, so who knows what's gonna happen. But yeah, no, yeah, I saw the new Google one that they announced was it like yesterday or today or whatever, whatever the day is. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. So I'm, we'll see. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do some cool stuff. I promise. Nice. No, you stay tuned, guys. Me. It's one of those things where, like, on YouTube, it's like you do something and then somebody else sees it and it takes it to the next level, like. I did a team up with Kodak to promote uh, dog adoption centers in LA, oh, cool. and so they had this device that you can attach the 360 camera on a dog, and it's like you're in the dog's Is like world. Um, no, they then saw my video. Oh, cool. This is before Insta 360 yeah. was really out, wow. which kind of makes me feel yeah. old now. Um, but yeah, even you're old. I'm super old. Yeah, no, I feel like. I, I don't know. It's one of those things where like the tech moves so quick that like tomorrow it's going to be a whole other camera, another rig. But I think what you said earlier in my interview, which you can find on YouTube, um, hit the nail on the head, which is that it's the platform. It's like content is king, but distribution is the kingdom. And right now, even Hulu has it kind of wrong. They have this amazing experience that I highly suggest you check out. Um, but there's no way that you can download it locally onto your headset and watch sure. it. So yeah. everyone's like streaming and stuff and it's like, you don't, it, it really, this is in the pool and the first time you see VR, it's like, oh, potato quality. And then, oh, I gotta change the setting and wait for the buffer. And so I think if they have a way to download things locally, it's gonna completely change the, yeah. the market. And I also very, I get motion sickness very easily. Yeah. So I've made the mistake of doing demos before they were ready. Yeah. And I mean, that's just, it's, it, it's like scarred me because now I'm afraid to feel that feeling. Like I was back at E3 a few years ago, I did a demo. I was sick for seven hours after. And like, I was like, it was so bad because it was such an early um, like demo of a game. And you know, like those kinds of experiences are not good. And man so it's like the content is it's almost ready it's there it's here we're doing it and it's great to see the future of it